We're both standing on our feet right now. <laughs> <laughs> video today I have my husband with me and we are doing the husband tag where I'll be asking him questions about us in honor of Valentine's Day which is in a few days we started dating on Valentine's Day so right. thought this would be fun are you ready to be quizzed no <laughs> good cuz I'm quizzing you anyways. first question where did we meet Publix starting you off easy baby. Just starting off easy <laughs> Where did we have our first kiss? La Hacienda. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, what was the first nickname you ever gave me? Beautiful. No, it's not the one I'm going for. It was a nickname that you don't call me anymore. B. Yeah, good job. I didn't think you'd remember it. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> um, B for beautiful. Who said I love you first? You said it first. No and no. I said it first. Yes. I told you that I liked you. Is that when you were at college? Or was when it after I, that? When I was going to college, yes. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What, <laughs> what sports did I play in school? Cheerleading. First of all, <laughs> correct. And second of all, do not be put in air quotes around cheerleading. It is a sport. You go and compete in championships nationally and whatever the other one is. Did you? I didn't. I wasn't in it long enough. Yeah. They did do championships yeah. at my school, but I I was only in there for one um, season during basketball season. Our school, they didn't do any championships. It was just like a little, a little backwards. Even so, group. the stuff that cheerleaders have to do, sports. <laughs> Anyways, what else did I play in school? Volleyball. No. Basketball. <laughs> Can't just start going through them now. You <laughs> don't know. And I don't necessarily, I'm not saying specifically high school, just school in general. You didn't play volleyball? I hated volleyball. Oh, 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 you mean like actually, so just, not gym, you mean like sports sports? Yeah, like Oh, okay, team. okay, soccer. Good job. You really remember that? Yes. Okay. Next question. Name our song. I Choose You. Who's it by? Uh. It's not Francesca Bastelli. That's a Christian artist. Yeah, I know. It's, um, You're on the right track. Like, I can see how you mix it up. Yeah, honestly, I can't. Like, that's only name. Sarah Borellis. Sarah Borellis. 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 Okay. Next question. This what? is stressful. <laughs> what, <laughs> what is the best way to handle me when I'm moody? And I'm, let me specify, because I have many types of moody. Just PMS moody. Just nothing can make me happy and I'm just blah and I'm bored not doing stuff but there's nothing I want to do kind of thing like that kind of moody. The best way is to just sit there and do nothing. Cuddle. <laughs> Half right. For you. Half right. And you do this sometimes but not that. Watch TV? No. Because around that time I usually there's nothing that I want like there's nothing I want to do but not doing stuff upsets me too. <laughs> A massage? No. What if you have freaking massage when I'm moody? <laughs> I'll just tell you. I know I have. I'll just tell you. Buying me food, like fast food or something, without... Because if you ask me, I'll say no. But if you just make the decision and give me something you know I like, that warms my heart. Food good, is the good way... To know. Food is the <laughs> way to my heart. <laughs> yeah, because I'll tell you if you ask me, and I'm always being truthful, I'm like, no, I just don't want... Like, just, uh, no. But when you just make the decision and do it, and then like the food's there, I'm like, oh, I'm really glad you did this for me. So like, I'm never lying trying to trap you and make you come up with things to do for me. Like, nothing sounds good to me in the moment. But when you make the decision and go and get me food, <clears throat> you got half of it right though, because sometimes just doing nothing is good. Next question, stop cheating. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I have to think about this answer too. <laughs> so most of the people I see ask this question, they're like, how many times did I reject you? How many times did you reject me? Twice? I think so. It's two or three times. I think it was twice. The very first time you friend zoned me on our third date? 
you friend zoned me. And then I think it was after I told you I liked you and you were all good for it. And we hung out again after that and it was good. And then after that, you friend zoned me again. Yeah, because of the Excuses. stuff I heard from somebody else. <laughs> so yeah, okay, I think it was just twice. Good job. <laughs> Second page. Next question. When did we get married? And when I say when, I want date and time. And time? <laughs> it was scheduled. It was all scheduled as a normal wedding is. You schedule when the ceremony happens. And as far as the schedule, so I'm sure it was a few minutes late, but I mean, as far as the schedule, what time were we scheduled to get married? One o'clock on January 1st. <laughs> January 1st is correct. Of? 2016. Mm -hmm. One o'clock is not correct. Three o'clock. Is that a guess? No. Sounded very like a guess, but yes, it was 3 o'clock. Okay. Because <laughs> we were trying to get it away a from lunchtime so that people weren't super hungry and before dinner so they're not like, we tried to get in the time where they wouldn't be really hungry. Just snacky. <laughs> Cheap. Next question. What is the title of my first Siren Games video? It's turning townies into alpha. And it was those like teen, teen kids or something. You're correct. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was my Let's Play University, but no. Turning townies into alpha sims. Good job. <laughs> Next question. Describe our first date. Our what first was? real one? Our first ever date. Uh, um, it was La, it was La Hacienda, and then we went to watch a movie, was it like Time time Machine or something? That was not our first date. No? That, that movie was not our first date. And I will say I do not remember the title of the movie. I just remember what it was about. What? what? <laughs> it's about God. It was some Christian movie that was to make a good first impression on me. Was that the, was it God's Not Dead? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I do not at all remember details about the movie or what it's called. As much as I tried to watch it and pay attention, I was so nervous. But, and I had never heard of it until you were like, how about this movie? And I'm like, okay. It was a Christian movie. Mm -hmm. Next, where did we go on our honeymoon? Both of them. The first one was the Marriott Hotel downtown. And when I say both, I'm not trying to sound snooty. I mean, we went to a, the Marriott Hotel downtown the night and the night after our wedding, so like immediate honeymoon. But then we went on like a week long honeymoon a few weeks later. So where did we go there? Well, we went to Florida and went on a cruise and went to um, Honduras, Grand Cayman, Belize, and uh, Roatan. Roatan. Good job. Thanks. Excellent. Okay, next question. What was your first impression of me? I thought you were cute. Aww. And you were new, and you looked nervous, and <laughs> I wanted to help you feel better. Aww. So sweet. Your face would get really red when you were nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so 24 7. <laughs> next, what movie did we see on our second first date? That time machine movie. What's it called? Project Almanac. Oh. And well. I did not have to look it up. I remember. I don't remember many details about the movie, but it was a weird movie. Next! I don't remember the answer. Was Puppy! Come say hi. <gasps> this is Mr. Doggy. Oh, And oh. <laughs> Who is barking at our reflection? Because she is not the brightest. What was our first road trip as a couple? Is it going to your grandma's house in Polly's? Yes. yes. For what? For Christmas. Let's, yeah. Yes. Because the first time you had gone up there already to meet her, but my mom was with us. For Christmas, we went by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Good job. Um, this is difficult because there's so many of them. But what would you say my biggest pet peeve is? A fork on a dish. <laughs> Me forgetting stuff. <laughs> 
That's actually the answer to another question. <laughs> Ew! That's the peanut butter that I'm smelling. It's your face. <laughs> <coughs> Gross. He's supposed to be white, and he's not. Look at that peanut butter. <laughs> like, I like the smell of peanut butter, but not when I know it's their breath from. Did oh, did you just? There. Those are all correct, but that's not the biggest pet peeve I was referring to. The one I was more thinking of was hypocrites, like people being hypocrites. Oh. However, that fork on a plate thing, that is close second. Next question. List three things that I am good at and three things that I am bad at. I mean, there's just so many I'm trying to decide. Of which, which category? Three. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good wife. So generic. You're, <laughs> you're good at writing and producing things. Um, you're good at making me feel awkward. <laughs> that is that is something I'm best at. <laughs> you're a good dog mom. You're very good with that. Wait. All right, three things I'm bad at. I'm gonna take you off that terrible rabbit trail. For one, I'll give you sports. I'm terrible at sports. No, you're not. I'm not athletic whatsoever. Yes, I am. I want you to play sports and you have so much potential that I you don't I think I'm realize. good at badminton and volleyball. But that's bad. You are good at badminton and volleyball. You were good at softball. You just had a lot of nerves when you were playing. Okay, well since you suck at answering that question, next question. And this is the quiz on how well you know me. If there was one thing that I could change about you, what would it be? My hair. No. I love your hair. That I forget things. No. And I that's My the brain. one that's the one that I thought you that I knew you were going to say. Oh. And that's not it. Good guess though. <laughs> I don't know you don't talk about that. Your insecurities and how like I wanna take a picture with you and you're like, mm, you know. Because oh. of yourself. That's what I would change about you. Wouldn't you be a little more confident? Just a little bit, because I don't want to be cocky, you know what I'm saying? But a little more confident. Because you should because you're amazing. So now, final question. If there was one thing I would change about myself, what would it be? There are a couple things. If I could only change one. Your, your ankles. That's your hair. very close number two. Yes, I want thicker hair. Cause it's so thin. It doesn't look super thin. I know, he would give me some of his if he could, but he can't because that's not how it works. Okay, you're off the hook now. We're done. Mm. <laughs> that was rough. Well, thank you for coming on, my sweet hubby. And a happy Valentine's Day in a few days. So there was my husband. <laughs> you're trying. She's like. I want to kiss you, but I'm sliding. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to see more fun videos like this and more of him. You need to comment below and tell him that he needs to be in another video. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.